It's Saturday, it's about 9.30 in the morning, and it is Comic-Con Day. Uh, doors open at Comic-Con at about 10 o'clock, so we're not going to get there for the beginning of Comic-Con, uh, but we will get there fairly soon after. Uh, going to go get in the car, drive the car over to the airport, do the park and ride on the tram, and get there probably around half 10, 11 o'clock. Uh, all ready to go, I've got my Spider-Man hoodie, I've got my Minions t-shirt, and I've got my Superman hat, so I'm all geeked out, ready to go. Uh, taking with me the Smoke 22, still running this boy, and I'm also taking the Kangatech drip box. So I've got two low wattage devices with me so that they should last plenty of time with the batteries. I've got plenty of juice coming with me as well. Uh, I'm not able to take my battery bank because my battery bank has actually run out. It's broken, so I can't plug a USB in it, which means I've got no backup charge for anything. So uh, both of these devices are fully charged, so hopefully they will hold me out throughout the entire day. Uh, so that's it for the minute. We're going to go get in the car, head on over to Edinburgh for the Comic Con, and I'm going to try and get as much video as I can throughout the course of today. So I've been into the con. It's all going well. Come out for a wee big break, and we're going to go back in and take a look around. This time, I'm going to get the camera out and try and get some. It's quite loud out here. Uh, we're obviously out in the street here, and the con is just up there. So we're going to go check it out. Convention floor walking. So that's just done a tour of the floor, that's the whole floor. We even got the little camera girl going, which is what we've got now. So that's us, we're going to go get some lunch and then we'll come back. So there we go, Comic Con done. Uh, that's us home. And 
you can see from the footage there, there was a lot of people, a lot of cosplay going on, a lot of stuff there. Uh, did try and get my daughter to do some of the shooting there. She tried to shoot some of the videos, so you've got some low angle stuff going on in there. I'm not quite sure how it looks because I've not edited it together yet, but I will get that done and get that included in here. Uh, so that's us now home, obviously. I'm standing back in the hall and have a quick vape. Uh, this battery on this did last almost the whole way. It died pretty much as we were getting back to the tram. I put it on charge when I got in the car, so that worked out pretty well. Now it's fully charged again. So I'm going to go make some dinner, chill out, and I will finish the vlog off once my dog goes off to bed, and I'll get it all edited and up. So it is now quite a bit later in the day. Uh, got back from Comic Con, obviously had dinner, I've shown that bit already. And you will have seen the video that I cut together from the Comic Con footage. There was quite a lot of footage that I actually captured there. I got about 20 minutes, half an hour worth of actual footage. And a lot of it was actually shot by my daughter. I gave her the camera and she was walking around. Uh, she did get a lot of, a lot of images of people's butts because she was stuck behind people. But it was very busy. She had a great time though. We had a lot of fun there. She really enjoyed it. And she's already deciding on her costume for next year. So I think we're going back next year as well. It's going to be an annual event for us. So that all went well. Got home, had our dinner, had a bit of chill out and she's now off to bed. And since she went to bed, I've actually managed to make another video. So the video that I've made is the Pulse 80 preview video. Now, I know I've done one of these before, but at the time I did that, it was still coming with the Vupu chip. It was still coming with the Gene chip from Vupu. And there's obviously been all that issue going on there with the Vupu, Vandy Vape, Tony B, that whole thing. I've done videos on that if you want to go have a look at them. But this is now the spec of the device that's actually going to come out. So it's slightly different to the one I did previously. So it's basically an update to that. So I've done that video. Uh, that will be uploaded probably before the vlog is. So I will throw a link up there if you want to go check that one out. So I was qualifying for the F1 this morning. Uh, China Chinese Grand Prix this weekend and it means it's coming in very early in the morning for the UK uh, so I was up at six o'clock this morning to watch that and since I was up so early I was doing some builds so I put a fresh build onto the freak show here so I've got 0 0.18 coming in on this build and get some nice production some nice flavor coming off that so that's a nice new build I've got in there the next one I put a build on was the Ant-Man, so that's this one that came on the budget uh, the budget RDA device. Unfortunately, I seem to have an issue developed with the device. Uh, when I try and fire it, it's flashing five times like that. And according to the user guide, that means it's either a short circuit or some sort of protection kicking in. Now, I took the RDA, I put it on a different device, no problem whatsoever. It fired up, no problem. It was a regulated device as well, uh, so not an issue with that. So... It did say that it's got, it will go down to 0 0.1 ohm. Now what I've got in there is a 0 0.18, uh, same as what I've got in the Freak Show. Just put the same uh, build into both of them. Uh, but it might be that it can only do down to 0 0.2, because my last build was 0 0.24. So I'm going to have a little play around with that, see what's going on, try and figure out what's wrong with that. It's not quite right. Uh, the other build that I did, so I actually did three builds this morning. Uh, was on this. This is the competition RDA that came with the uh, mech mod that went bang. So I've never actually used this. Uh, I had started the build when it went bang, but I never finished it. I uh, got the coils in, in, and I never waked them up. I was still heating it up, leveling them off. And of course, I wanted to start fresh after the bang because it got covered in residue. So I cleaned it all up and uh, put a fresh build in it this morning. I want to run it on a mech mod. On a, I don't want to run it on a mech. I want to run it on a regulated mod. So I put it on the RX 200 here just to make sure that everything's all right with it. So it's coming in at 0 0.2 ohms. I've got it running at about 75 watts. And it's given great production off that. It's also given really, really good flavor coming through as well. So I'm quite liking that RDA. Uh, Going to spend a bit more time with it, use it a bit more, see see just how it is running, 
and go from there. Uh, other devices that I've been using today as well, there's been quite a, quite a lot of devices going on today. Uh, the Skyhook RDTA. Now the reason that I'm running this is essentially I'm trying to dry burn it. I'm trying to get all the juice out of it and completely burn it dry. Uh, you can see I've got the tank pretty much empty there. It's just what's left in the wicks. Uh, it's got a 0 0.4 ohm build in it at the moment. It's quite a nice build that I put in there. Uh, but the wicking was completely off and I couldn't fill it because it would a nightmare to fill and it was leaking every time as well so I want to clean it out and put a fresh build in it so at the minute I've got that 0 0.4 and I'm running at 120 watts and that's why I want to do it why I want to get this back in action is because of that cloud production since I did that vaping 101 where I included this and I used it for the first time in about a month or so I, I remembered why I bought this in the first place because it does have that good flavor and that good production you can run it at those high te high wattages and you just get that because it's got so much airflow it's it's really good for the flavor it's really good for the production that you get off it so I want to try and get this uh, built so with a nice wicking in it so I can actually use it uh, so I'm going to try it hopefully do that tomorrow when I'm watching tomorrow's Grand Prix so that's the plan And of course, the other main thing that I've been vaping on today has been this Smok 22. Uh, I took this out with me along with my drip box, but I didn't really use the drip box that much. I uh, only really used it when I was charging this up, um, which was on the way home, uh, or when this ran out of power. And I uh, got it charged up when I got home, and I've been using it again. Uh, I'm quite liking this little device. Uh, I'm going to be doing a full review on this, hopefully tomorrow. If not, it'll be on Monday. Because uh, I'm really liking this, but if I don't do the review soon, the coil's going to go and I'm not going to be able to do the review. Uh, so at the minute, uh, running this. And I am liking it a lot. It's a very, very fits in the hand. It's very movable. I'm enjoying it a lot. But like I say, review on this will be coming very soon. Uh, I'm going to keep using it because I do enjoy it a lot. But that's it for the vapes. Oh, nope, not quite. There was one more vape that I've used today as well. And that's been the pulse. So the pulse has come back out. And that's because I was doing the video on the pulse 80. So it made sense to actually use the pulse in that video. So. Got that running as well. So that's all the vapes I've been using today. Quite a lot of vapes going on today. Uh because it has been quite a long day and that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for today it's longer vlog than normal uh had comic con in it obviously and quite a lot of vape talk going on there uh so all those usual good things like comment share subscribe uh go check out the patreon www.patreon.com slash purple mongoose uh jump over follow me on the twitter there uh, more updates and stuff coming through the Twitter. I'm get, I'm still getting used to using the Twitter. I've always been a Facebook guy. I've never really got into Twitter, but I'm using it a lot more for channel stuff. So go check that out. Uh, that's at one purple mongoose. And of course, uh, as ever, well, which one am I going to use? I've got so many choices. I think it's got to be this for the cloud. So as ever. Big bomb.